everyone. How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? Today, before I start anything, I want to start with a simple story. Few years back, I went to my hometown, Nagpur, in India, very beautiful place. While I was at my home, there was a celebration going on, and I met few of my cousin sisters. While I was there, everyone was very happy and they were enjoying their time, except one. When I went to her and I started speaking to this cousin sister of mine, she said, I am really upset with my life. And when I inquired why, she said, she's not happy because her in-laws and her husband is not allowing her to work. This is her story. Now comes my story, exactly opposite to it. My name is Furti Sahare, and I am a computer engineer. And till this point, I was a very good girl in the eyes of my father, in the eyes of my family, in the eyes of my neighbors, in the eyes of everyone. But the twist lies here. I dare to dream. I dare to switch my profession. I dare to take something which gives me that adrenaline rush every single morning when I get up. I dare to leave my high paying job and take professional writing and speaking as a profession. And this is where I made my first mistake. And I paid for it. My dad refused to support me mentally, monetarily, anyhow. I had the choice between staying at home, getting married to a great guy, getting his children and then raising his children, or the choice was to walk out of the home. And for, fortunately or unfortunately, or maybe the faith what decided for me, I choose the second option. And this was my second mistake. A girl walking out of a family was a big talk of the town. People started questioning my mother, people started questioning me, people started questioning my character, that what the hell I'm doing with a stupid book which I want to do. But something happened and something inside me kept telling me that go on. Now the question is what I wanted to do. I wanted to write a book on him. MS Dhoni, he is one of the top most athletes in the world. What is soccer for you is cricket for us. What is Messi for you is MS Dhoni for us. Indians, Indian, India is a country where cricket is a religion and he can be, you can say he is one of the gods. I was really fascinated by the way this person thinks. He is one of the person who can keep his mind really cool under pressure. He has got that magnetic ability to stay calm under pressure and think creative. I was really fascinated by him and I thought if I learn from him and youth like me can not just observe him, but you need to learn from the favorite star. If I learn from him something, and if I share this with the world, this can be a winning factor in everyone's life. I went on the wild journey to write this book. And this is where I made my third mistake. A girl trying to express her opinion about a sport which is dominated by men. Not even 50 books will sell. Nobody is going to read. And who is interested to read and think what Sfurti Sahare thinks? Nobody is interested. I was rejected not once, twice, but 22 times. Now just try to get the glimpse of my situation. I left my job, an engineering job. I left my home. I'm going against my family and I'm staying in a new city. And now I'm struggling 
to find my publisher. After doing a lot of things, after going and meeting this one of the best and the most favorite cricketer of India, meeting him was itself an uphill task. And after doing all this, nobody is ready to even see my work. That was the point where I've decided that one day will come where this journey of mine would be a life testimony for the world. That was the point decided that my vision will not be just to write a book and be called an author and have a book in a fancy airport stall, but the vision would be to write more books for people who are struggling for a voice and an opinion and an idea. Finally, after knocking 100 such doors, one door opened. It was Mr. Anuj Bhari. He is the top book agent in India. This person somehow believed in me and he pitched my book to the publishers. And the moment he pitched my book to the publishers, everyone started accepting it. I don't know what happened that time. I got a top class publisher. Within just two weeks of my book, the book was on the top selling charts and everyone was started speaking about this little girl. I don't know what happened that time. My book won awards like, it is one of the most popular self-help book 2016, uh, voted by Amazon. I have won prestigious Nari Shakti Award, which literally means Women Power Award. My book is Reader's Digest, promotional title of year 2017-2018. And I am one of the top most nominees of Young International Award, Dubai. In all this, in all this, I see that I was not allowed to opt for a certain option because everyone thought it is not made for a girl. Today, unfortunately, we are living in a world where we click more selfies and less family photos. We have higher education and lower wisdom. We have high speed internet and slow brains. We are always online, but we are never available. We have more relationships and less romance. Depression is growing. WHO has confirmed that depression is growing by 18, per has grown up by 18%. There are 29 million people who are suffering drug overdose. I believe that people don't get depressed because they have a cranky boss or their, or their girlfriend or boyfriend left them. People get depressed because they lack that goal, that vision, that target, which gives them that adrenaline rush every single morning. When you have a bigger vision, I think you attract solutions to the problems. When you have a vision, you attract ideas to do something. Suicide level has gone up. Prostitution for that red fancy shoe has gone up. Crime rate has gone up. People are, youths are ready to sell kidneys to buy the new version of iPhone. Where we are heading? It is said and it is confirmed that in around 100 countries, women are barred from certain kind of work just because they are women. In around 18 countries, Men and their husbands have the legal right to prevent women from going out. A report says that if women and men start working together and, and, and the overall percentage is equalized and it's neutralized, we can have $28 trillion by 2025 in our economy. I believe 
and mostly in developing countries. The fact that I'm standing here means that India is on the verge of change, but I want this change to come really fast. When I speak about neutrality, neutrality means the power of dreaming. Neutrality for me, for me is the power to express your opinions and your ideas. Neutrality for me is the ability to choose your work. Neutrality for me is the vision which will unite the entire humanity and the sole purpose of entire humanity should not be just a goal or a growth it should be it should drive and it should be on the value it should be based on the value of love compassion creating a world where where happiness is the highest priority how about creating a world where we will start being neutral and how about creating a world where we understand each other in all this when my sister my cousin sister which i'm uh, when she saw all these things she has realized by seeing my journey she has realized that it was not her husband or her family members which were stopping her it was her own insecurity and fear of walking out of the home was stopping her and when i asked a few questions she has herself confessed that when she works on a bigger vision she gets all the ideas to convince everyone like i did and now she started working and her family is proud of this in all this do you think my dad was a villain or culprit no i love him so much and he loves me back but it was his definition of seeing his girl is what he was protective about me or maybe he never wanted me to go out in the into the mess world and struggle or maybe he never knew how powerful his daughter can be today in the end i just want to recite a beautiful poem from the poet of from the poet of my land india the nobel prize awardee rabindranath tagore and in this poem he expresses his vision of perfect world let's create a world where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world is not fragmented by the narrow domestic wall where words come from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection where clear streaming of reason has not lost its habit into the dirty dead sand where the mind is led forward by the into the ever widening thoughts and actions and in this heaven my father let my country and my world awake today we need wine heroin uh, weed every hour to get a high i never smoke i never drink because i don't think a glass of wine can give me the high you know what is my high this stage is my high I get high when I inspire people. I get my high when a girl sitting in a country like India or any other part of the world which is developing chooses that she will have a voice for herself and her life will not end when just when she got married. This is my high. So in the end I just want to conclude that let's not depend on a glass of wine to get a high and let's not depend on a saturday party let's make a vision and a goal and a target our first priority and see what kind of world we can create thank you <laughs>